Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, in this tutorial, we are going to set the best settings for BlueStacks 5 or any other version of BlueStacks you have, and that will work especially on Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. So if you have already installed it and you're not getting good FPS, the performance is not good and it's lagging, this tutorial is for you. So please make sure you do not miss any step because it will be very effective once you do that in a sequence wise. So let's go ahead and do that. So here you need to open your blue stacks and just do a right click in your start icon and go to task manager. Now here we are going to uh, set the priority for this blue stacks and I'll tell you how we can do that. That's a very important and very basic step. The firstly, which we need to do. So here in the task manager, we have many options processes, performance, app history, startup, and users. So here we will go to details and under details, we will scroll down and we will look for hdplay.exe, hd-play.exe. So this is a process uh, which is running for blue stacks and we need to set the priority for this and I'll just do a right click and here we have many options and the middle one is the set priority. So here the priority should be above normal or you can select high. So if it's normal, select above normal and then tr try to play your games. If you still have issues, I mean, you can select high. So my recommendation would be normal to above normal or high. So I'll select high here and I'll click on change priority. So this is the first step which we have successfully done and I will close this window. Now, once this is done, click on this settings icon and the very first option you will find is performance. So performance um, here, we will need to select the CPU. Like you have a processor and you want to give some portion to this particular application. So the best one would be dividing in a, you know, a medium frame. So I will always recommend if you have eight cores, please listen to me carefully. If you have eight cores, then maximum give it to four or five. You can select custom if you have eight cores and give five here. And uh, medium will be the best one because you need um, half of the CPU for your blue stacks and half of the CPU in the background for the whole Windows computer. So please do not select max cores because it will any which way lag. So the best one is medium two cores. So since I have four cores in this computer, I'll select medium two cores. Same goes with the memory location. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, since I have eight gigabytes of RAM, we will go with medium one. Try if that works or select the high one. Please make sure you do not select more than 50% of your actual RAM here. So if you have eight GB, select high. And the performance mode should, should be high performance. That you can do that. And from here, you can select the frame rate. If your computer allows you to select the frame rate to 90 or 60, you can do that. Once this is done, here uh, we need to go to display option. I'll just click on discard changes. Now the display option, now under display, please make sure you select the recommended resolution only. We don't have to make any changes. We just need to check here what is the recommended one and select that. That's it. And here in pixel density, I would always recommend to select the medium one and mouse cursor style, you can select that is up to you, whether you want to select mouse cursor style for system default or blue stacks. If you select system default, it will be better because it will not stutter. Now we will move to the graphics part. And this is one of the most important part. And please make sure you pay attention to it. Now the graphics engine mode should be always performance because we also need performance from the graphics and the renderer should be OpenGL or DirectX. Now for most of the cases, I would recommend to select OpenGL. 
Interface renderer should be auto. You don't have to make any changes. Now the most important part is GPU in use, Intel UHD graphics. So I'm using the Intel UHD graphics. In your computer, you might be using NVIDIA or AMD or any other graphics driver. Please make sure prefer dedicated GPU is turned on. All right. And once this is done, you need to select save changes and go to devices. From here, you can select your speakers, your microphone. So if you want to use your microphone from microphone option, you can select your microphone right here. You can select the camera as well if you have any specific camera option. So from here, you can select that. That will be the best one. Now, once this is done, you just need to click on save changes and restart the computer and see how's the performance of your blue stack. If it has increased the performance, if it has worked for you, please leave a comment. It really motivates me and please hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. Have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.